Hello friends, hello viewers. In this video, I'm going to revise with you mass, weight, and density. Okay. So the question is saying, figure 1.1 shows a jug of liquid and an empty measuring cylinder that is on an electronic balance. So an electronic balance is showing the mass of 34.9 grams of the empty measuring cylinder. Then also, we are having also the liquid inside the, the jug okay so as for a the electronic balance uses the weight of the measuring cylinder to determine its mass okay the electronic balance uses the weight of the measuring cylinder to determine its mass weight and mass have different units weight and mass have different units so in this case here, they have given us one difference. Now, the question is saying, state two other ways in which weight differs from mass. State two other ways in which weight differs from mass. So now, in this question here, they have given us one difference, which is mass and weight have different units. Which means, when writing the answers here, we are not supposed to put that Mass is measured in kilograms, whereas weight is measured in newtons because they have given us one difference. So in this case, here I'm going to say mass does not change. It remains what? Constant. Whereas weight changes from place to place. That is what? The one difference. Then the last one, I can say uh, mass is measured using an instrument called beam balance, whereas Weight is measured using an instrument, spring balance, okay? Yes. Or if you don't want, you can say, mass is the quantity of matter contained in an object. Mass is the quantity of matter contained in an object. Whereas, weight is the pull of gravity on an object. Weight is the pull of gravity on an object. Then as for B, it is saying, describe how to determine the density of the liquid using the apparatus shown in figure 1.1. Now, remember, we are determining the density of the liquid inside the jug, okay? Yes. So, which means the first step here, we need to pour the liquid inside the measuring cylinder, okay? The first thing, we need to pour the liquid inside the, the measuring cylinder. Now, after we pour the liquid inside the measuring cylinder, we need to take the readings for volume, okay? We need to take the readings for volume. In this case here, we are taking the reading for the volume of the liquid, okay? Then after we take the readings for the volume, we are going to find that on the electronic balance here, at the initial or at the start of the experiment, the mass is 34.9 grams. Now, once we pour water inside the, measuring, in the, inside the measuring cylinder, we are going to find that also the mass is going to do what is going to change. So the next step here, I'm going to say, subtract, subtract 34.9 grams from the final mass. Okay? Subtract 34.9 grams from the final mass of the, on, on the electronic water balance. Okay? So you're going to find that once you pour water inside the measuring cylinder, the mass is going to increase, okay? Now, the mass is going to be shown on the electronic balance. So you need to subtract 4.9 grams from the final leading of the mass on the electronic balance. Then, the last step, you need to now to calculate the, the density by using the formula which is density is equal to mass over T volume. That's all. Then as for C, it is saying the density of the liquid D is 780 kg per meter cubed, okay, or per meter Z cubed. Determine the volume of 0 0.65 kgs of the liquid. So in this case, yes, since I know that T, density is equal to mass over volume. So when I make volume the subject of the formula the formula is going to be 
volume is equal to mass over T density. So the mass here it is 0 0.65 kgs over the density which is what? Uh, 780 7, 7, kgs per meters cube. Then when I divide the answer is going to be 0 0.008333 and so on. Now, this answer here, I'm just going to write it in form of the standard D notation. So it is going to be 83 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 5. Okay? So when you multiply 83 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 5, you are going to get the same answer. Then at the end, you are supposed to put meters are cubed. So that was the last one. Thanks for watching.